Makeup. Ah, oh, I could cover my face in freckles. You did this. I did. Yeah. I could, uh... Yeah. Oh, I, I just a lip print on my cheek, because who wouldn't do that with their makeup? I can use makeup to give myself facial hair. <laughs> what on earth? I could also just make my face half black with makeup. That's a thing, I guess. Uh, I think I'm going to go ultra edge and go with the eyeliner. Rez, stop making yourself. What else am I supposed to make? I gotta go, f look, just full emo. Like, this is what I do in every MMO ever. I just, I make an emo. It's, it's great. Alright, uh, but, uh, character nickname will be your unique player name within Secret World Legends is shown in chat or another player's target. Your first and surname will be visible to everyone respect your character. These names are just for later. Do not be unique. This is not your real name, but your character's name. If you want to preserve your identity, please pick a fictional first and last name. Okay, mm -hmm. nickname, Rasola. Do I need a first and last name? Alright, so we're gonna go with these clothes, and not these clothes. Uh, Illuminati. You can pick a faction, by the way, Sleepy. Mm -hmm. I'm picking Illuminati. Uh, Demo went dragon, because he's a weeb. Of course. Uh, okay, I have to have a first and last name. Three letters minimum. Um... Rez-ola. What, what weapon are you on? Rez-resola-ola. <laughs> I mean, I don't know! Rhett, how about Rez as your first name, and then Ola as your last name? I, I have to have a nickname, too, though. Like, I only have one name. It's Rosola. I don't think this far ahead. Three names? X, 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 X. X, X. Now I'm a scene kid from 2010. God, stop, no. No, wait, 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 wait. I, like, this is pretty scene. F wait, okay, right. X, 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 Rosola, Rar, X, D. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. Why you do this? That nine. Great, this is my name. Hello, my name is Rar, X, D, Pizza, but you can call me Rar. It's a little bee thing. I can barely hear this guy talk. I don't know what he's saying. Oh god, it's on my mouth! I wonder if you wake up shirtless if you pick a girl. Man, how many- what kind of pack is that? Two, four, six, eight! Holy shit! Oh, here's some nice emo brooding. Destroyed the house. Great. Oh, oh god. Oh god. I just burned everything. That's how hot I am. Okay. Uh, don't call me a child. It's not a phase, mom. Fuck. Camera shake on special hits. No. Fuck camera shake. If you like camera shake, you're a pedophile. So there's a sprint skill. Like, I have to hit X to start sprinting. And then it's just on, always. Until I turn it off. Does it consume anything? Like, or can I just sprint forever? Oh no, it turns off eventually. Do I, like, hold it down? I don't, I don't no, maybe not. Alright, whatever, let's go. I got blades! I'm an assassin! Let's go, boy! What's this? Hurricane. Uh huh. What's this? My basic blade ability is Q, but my skill is left click. What the fuck? The dead are rising to the siren song. Destroy them. Basic abilities are as effortless as breathing. But power abilities draw upon your reservoir of energy. I feel oh, like great. basic attack should be left click. Oh, I feel like this should be left click. Not Q. Can I can I move where my skills are or do I have to like get out of the tutorial? Because basic attack should not be Q, that you should be go left to click. Controls, uh, but you can't change it to left click from what I'm looking at. 
You can't change it to left click? Well, it's also bound to mouse button 4, apparently. That's so weird. Can I just hold it? Like, can I just hold the button? No. Okay, I, you have to spam the button. Can I really not change my attack button out of queue? I mean, whose retarded idea was this? Like, who lost a brain cell and said, basic attack will be Q? Like, for real. In what instance would your basic attack not be left mouse click? And Akashua, you have to be sarcastic. Sprint as X, basic attack as Q. These are the most retarded controls, like... And I can't... Can I even change... The, the mouse button ones, because the mouse button ones, no, I can't see them anywhere. Oh no, because one, two, three, four, five, six, it's these ones, but... No, you can't... You can't rebind the left and right click, so no, you cannot... You can't change this. I already don't like this game just for watching, is there an auto attack option? You know what? I, I wonder, I'm not sure. I hope there is, because using basic attacks right now is way too difficult. Patron bonus. What? Is this like, you subscribe and you get a bonus or something? Enable double tapping to active dodge. Wait, that's a thing? Oh god, it's a thing. If you have double tapping to dodge, why do you also have it as shift and then have sprint as X? I want to see... The person that made these design choices and I want to look into their brain and count how many brain cells they're missing you can hit F to, to start an interaction but you can't hit F to end an interaction so far I, I absolutely hate the controls of this game why does everything have a use time everything has a bar even sprinting has like a bar that has to load this is a strangely, this is a really weird MMO. Not because of the style of it, which is weird, but because the controls are so retarded. And the fucking, yeah, just basically that, I guess. Alright, move past the floor tiles. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Eh. 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 And a cutscene. Or camera movement. It's a puzzle. Great. As we know, I am great at puzzles and I love them. Right? What, what you laughing at? What you laughing at? Wow. How rude. Three. Aha. Uh -huh. See, I told you, Sleepy. I'm great at puzzles. And I fucking love them, and they're my favorite pastime. No. Don't let me talk about that part. <laughs> That's BS or S. Your mom's BS. Sneak past and disable the war machine. Where do I disable it? Let's see. Hey! What? What? Stop! 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 Oh! Ow. Three. Can I, can I not actually type it on my keyboard? I, you, you lazy pieces of shit. Wow. This game has some random, like, hiccuping when it's loading stuff. And I know that's not just my computer, because I was actually watching gameplay of it. And I got to watch it happen in every piece of gameplay that I watched. We have no time to spare. Can we console the Council of Venice first? Now is not the time for argument. There is no subway station here in Times Square. This is Times Square, right? Ah, uh, wow, that's like Matt Nine's wet dream right here. Uh, I have a sword. How do I hit it? I have a sword! What do I do? Two days ago.
You know, Zuko, that's not a smart idea. You do that wrong, it'll strike your heart. The audio mixing for this game, by the way, is just really bad. I still can't figure out how to make it better. You're currently downloading missing data. Why am I missing data? Maybe you should download the whole fucking game. I'm in Brooklyn, baby! Hey, this is where the division didn't take place. Oh, you can really see the uh, the level of detail drop off in this game. Look at the garage on my right. You can see the line, a literal line of rendering. You can see another one right there. How many layers does this have? Oh, there's another one. One, two, three, four, four at that distance. Nice. I can do it. I can change the controls. I can make left mouse click the auto attack. <laughs> Thank God. If I did not how to find out how to do that by the end of this, I was 100% going to quit this game. Because that's how terrible that control was. I'm not going to lie. I think I would have preferred this game when it was uh, tab targeting. I honestly think it would have been easier to play because this game still is just a hybrid between action and tab targeting and so just by it being action like the hybrid it actually makes it harder to play one way New York okay the signs don't say New York on them thank you so at what point do I actually get to like play with you guys <laughs> Is this still the tutorial demo? In some areas, this game is just really quiet, and in others, it's just really, really loud. And it's not even a thing you can fix with, like, the settings of the game. It's just like, okay, are you in combat? Alright, your ears are gonna get blown out. Are you not in combat? Well, you're not gonna hear anything. Bitch. What's out here? You could actually fix that, I think. No, you uh... can't, because there's not separate audio settings for in combat sound effects and out of combat sound effects i know there's a combat music setting i'm not talking about music dialogue you can turn off uh, it's already maxed you can turn down. yes i know but that does not fix what i'm talking about the fact that when we get into combat the sound effects which are on seven sound more like they've gone to a 14 and when I'm out of combat, instead of being a 7, it sounds like they're at like a 2. That's what I'm talking about. I don't under really understand the story so far, but... I love my choice of Illuminati. These people are great. I feel like I'm in like a... Just a modern day version of cyberpunk. Are these lights just flickering? Or like, is that like a... No, that's a graphical bug. At some points, the lights just disappear randomly. And so do all the people. Oh my god. What kind of bug is that? All these hidden legends, blah 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 blah, reminds me a lot of Assassin's Creed. Uh, what the fuck? The Illuminati have... Elven teleporters to... What is this shit? This is a fucking, like, elven, like, dream right here. Why am I downloading missing data, really? Why don't you just download the whole game, you bitch? Hello? Yes? Hi, I'm looking for platform nine and three quarters. This area has some hell of graphical glitches. Like the entire tree there just disappears randomly. I want to see if I can make it like stay. There you go. Why does the whole tree just disappear? Like, is that a player? Denegler. What a great username, man. Up! Up! Oh god, lag. 
Oh god, lag! Oh, what the fuck? Wow, that jump is a lag fest, huh? Whoa, lag. This game does not like being forced to load all that different shit in at once, does it? A staff member of NVIDIA made it a long-ass post about how this game suffers from hitching. Is how well-known the lag this game has is. Holy shit. Just bump it down a high. So apparently the streaming of all the assets of this game is tied directly to the frame rate, which is... Sounds like a terrible idea. High feels like it's working a lot smoother, though. But yeah, this game has some amount of performance issues. And apparently they're so bad that a fucking staff member at NVIDIA had to make a guide related to it. That's, that's funny. It's not like I was getting low FPS like an older game, you know, something like Guild Wars 2. Um, it's just like there was just straight up video like hitching, like the NVIDIA guy was saying. It's already, like, I started up the game again after doing exactly what the NVIDIA guy said, and it's already much better. Ugh. I'm noticing jagged lines on the stream. On my screen? Yeah, like, on your, on the stream? I'm seeing on your gameplay all these, like, jagged lines as you're running around. Oh, that was even on max settings. In fact, it's actually, it's not as bad for some reason. Lowering the settings made it, like, a lot less bad. But yeah, I, I see, like, the aliasing over there. I'm looking right now at a bunch of aliasing. Yeah, because uh -huh. now anti-aliasing is, uh, I think completely off? Yes, anti-aliasing is completely off. Oh, well. It's mostly better after following those fixes. This is the real test, right? When I jump on one of these? Yeah, far less hitching towards the end there. Far less hitching. Man, that depth of field further out. That's one way to save on performance, kinda. Uh, or at least make it look less bad. Oh great, you can purchase points! With premium currency, you can purchase skill points. That's... wow. It's pay for more skill points to get skills I quicker. I would think it would offer you an advantage if, uh, compared to somebody of a similar level that did not buy skill points, assuming you're not already at the points you already have. Because, say, I went ahead and purchased a bunch of skill points and bought all, like, this little passive stuff that gives me all these permanent stat bonuses. I would have an advantage. That's pay to win. That's what literally the definition of it, is purchasing an advantage that someone else would not have if they did not spend real money. So, Riz, how do you like the blood heals? Honestly, I don't know. My health bar is just this tiny little thing at the bottom left. I haven't really even been paying attention to it. What is it? What is this? Okay. I was not expecting that. I have to get over there, but that's not allowed to see me. So what do I do? I got an idea. No! Yay, stealth. Yeah, dude, for real. Oh, I see. Go over here. Bitch. Can I, can I just destroy it? No? Alright. Did I mention that I love stealth even more than puzzles? I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> what did this change occur, Raz? What do you mean change? I was born loving stealth. I snuck my way out of the womb. Because the rest from a year ago said they hated puzzles and stealth. Well, see, as that you as you just said, they. That means there's multiple reses, and I am the cool one that likes puzzles and stealth and uh, pepperoni. Sleepy, you might want to go over there and check for pods in that basement. <laughs> I need to find the basement first. We don't have a basement. That's what you think. 
We don't have a basement. Look for pods in that house. I'm sure there's pods in there. Most likely. Yeah, I was such a stealthy baby. My mom didn't even know she had me until I was 18. Priscilla! <laughs> You can use anima shards to teleport. Or if you're a patron, you're free. What does that mean? So there's some sort of like hidden subscription service bullshit in this game? I think that's enough footage to show you that my first day of Secret World Legends was not the best first impression. So I actually went ahead and I played this for another about, I want to say five or six days after this day, before making this video. At the time of making this video, I'm actually one third of the way done with the game already. And my pro and cons list looks absolutely ridiculous. And I'll show you on the screen to show you just how ridiculous this looks. So for the sake of ease of putting this video together, I'm going to summarize on my pro and cons list on the screen. So let's start with the easier part of the game, the pros. Pro number one would be that Secret World Legends really does step outside of the norm for what is considered a pretty overdone, stagnant, never-changing genre, MMORPGs, in terms of setting, story, and gameplay. Hell, they remade the entire game, sort of, to Secret World Legends from The Secret World to take a tab targeting system and make it into some variation of an action combat system just to get away of the plague that is WoW clones and the mess of tab targeting that many MMO players have become just very apathetic to. The game is set in a modern fantasy world instead of an old timey medieval fantasy world which a lot of players do tend to get tired of after too much of it. And the story really revolves around this whole just underground no one good, everyone has something wrong with them kind of thing, but you're just in it for whatever reasons you might be in it, rather than you are the hero, you will save the world, you are the good guy and everyone looks up to you. Secondly, there are multiple factions in the game that actually change the flavor of your storyline with faction specific quests, dialogues, reactions, colors, appearances, themes, locations, all that jazz. It actually changes it pretty dramatically from what I've seen. I picked the Illuminati, the other choices are Dragon and Templars, and they all undergo pretty different games. And finally, it's that the premium currency of the game, which is sort of inevitable in a free-to-play MMO like this, is earnable in-game, albeit it's earnable in a very slow, grindy way and at extremely inflated rates as it's reliant on other players purchasing the currency and selling it to supply the free-to-play players that would rather sell their in-game earned currency for the premium currency. To the point where there's actually a basis for how much each premium currency should be worth compared to the free-to-play currency that you can earn by doing challenges, but the actual reality of the economy in the game is that it's exponentially times higher on the actual player market. The game poised it as being a 1 to 4 ratio, but in reality, it's become a 1 to 300 ratio in terms of value. Now let's go through the large list of cons, and I'm going to go in a very direct order. Let's start with lag. This game has a lot of lag for pretty much everybody that I got to play it and everybody that I've seen play it. And it doesn't seem to be tied to hardware or anything, because, I mean, this game is so old now, and everybody that I had play it has a mixture of hardware from about five years ago to top tier for today hardware, and we all pretty much got the same results in terms of lag. When I looked this up, an NVIDIA, like, spokesperson actually had a thread talking about this problem, what causes it, and how to fix it. And pretty much, the streaming of the assets based on your graphical settings cause more demand, which the server cannot keep up with, somewhat in relation to how well it is optimized to your hardware. And if that sounds too complex for you, basically just think, the server's slow, and it's bottlenecking your hardware. 
This is very annoying. I actually almost thought I was going to have to quit the game because of this. Turning down my graphical settings did help, but it did not eliminate the issue. And for some people that we got to play the game, people with older hardware that you think would be more optimized for an older game like this, it was actually so bad that no amount of changing anything helped and they just had to quit the game within the first couple hours. This game has constant crashing for some. I personally did not have any more than like one or two crashes. For example, the first time I started the game, it basically froze my entire monitor for like a minute. And I kept clicking on it and then it crashed, reopen it, it never happened again. But to approximately one third of the people that we got to start this game, they had a problem where they couldn't get through a single cutscene or run around and do any quests without constant crashing and I don't know what caused it and we just we couldn't figure it out, we couldn't help them so they just ended up quitting the game. And that's not good that that many people with, I can assure you, vastly different hardware can have these kinds of problems. Secret World Legends is a game where upgrading your character's stats in terms of gear don't come from getting new gear and equipping it. It comes from upgrading gear. And the system is so... It seems simple when they explain it, but it's a lot more complex than they make it seem, and very important parts of it are never explained. For example, there's one pop-up through the entire game telling you what pips are, and how generally more pips equal stronger item. This is pretty much after teaching you that to upgrade an item to the next, like, tier, the item you're upgrading it with has to be identical. What I learned only after playing the game for like 50 hours because someone that had beaten the game like 10 times over happened to join the stream is that these pips are actually unrelated to that process. So I had been making all these huge wastes of money and mistakes on upgrading the entire time. Whereas I could have been a lot more powerful than I was at that time if I knew, but the game never teaches you this anywhere. The story of this game... Honestly, no matter what faction you pick, it is god-awful. It's awful. It's awful. Most of the quests in the game are started because some you walked up to someone who had a rant, and then for some reason, you made their rant your business and went out and did something completely unrelated, and then the faction you picked decided to pay you for it at the end. It makes no sense. You feel like you're just going through completing tasks with no sense of purpose, which you would think in a game where a lot of the quests have cutscenes, which is like a really impressive thing for the time this game came out, you would have more direction about what you're doing than you actually end up having. A lot of quests also get broken, and to fix them, like, and I mean main story quests by the way, and to fix them, the only way to do that is to find a way to restart the quest or intentionally fail it which you cannot do with every quest. I had a main story quest where I had to kill an enemy, but he kept respawning every three seconds, and I didn't have enough DPS to kill him in three seconds. I thought I was going to have to quit the game right then and there because of the main story quest. Like, restarting the game didn't even help. What I had to do was walk away from the area until it failed the quest, and then walk back, and then it worked. That's so weird. The gameplay is very, very solo. And to make that even just weirder is that the, some of the quests, they work cooperatively and some don't. For example, you may do a quest where you have to collect some stuff throughout a city. So you and your friends go around, someone picks up the item and it counts for everybody. And then five minutes later, you get a different quest that's basically the same thing. But then you all go to the item, someone picks it up and only counts for him. Now, you might think it would still count for everyone else, so you don't pay attention. You guys then go through the whole city, this guy beats the quest, you go on to the next quest, and the other people realize, wait, I'm still on the first objective. That happened a lot in our gameplay, especially because we had a newer gamer with us that didn't know to really track objectives like that, and this led to many times where we had to go back and redo entire quests several times, or points where we couldn't go back to help another person deal with the quest because it didn't count for them. Even though we would go into like instances that are only related to the quest, that you can only do while having the quest, and you'd think it would count for all of us, but it doesn't. Questing can start to get annoying if you are someone that likes to clear zones of quests, but you don't like to get dedicate entire days to a game. Because even dedicating an entire day 
to a zone, you may or may not end up completing a zone, and all the quests in this game are repeatable. Meaning, if you take like a three day break or something, you come back and all those icons marking the quests are now back on your map because you can do the quests again. This makes sorting through what you have and haven't done really annoying. Quests with special mechanics are almost never properly explained, such as things where you get commands to counter quest specific moves or instances that will kill you if you don't do these things. The game, however, in every single instance that it has had mechanics like this, never explained how these mechanics work, what buttons you were supposed to press, or even that you're supposed to be pressing any buttons to get out of the situations it's putting you in, and it just leaves you to figure out why you're dying, how to stop it, despite enemies not hitting you, and despite no explanation as to why the hell this is happening. The starting controls of the game are absolutely terrible. Absolutely. It has two very redundant dodging options that you cannot change. X to activate a sprint skill instead of normal shift to sprint. Both not rebindable, by the way, and terrible starting combat bindings, but these are fixable once you're about halfway through the tutorial. The game has many, many graphical glitches that are absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous how many they have, especially in, like, animations, too. The animations break every other cutscene. And some of these graphical glitches can take entire full game restarts to fix, because some of them can literally make it so anytime you take a step or move the camera in even the slightest, your entire screen goes blue. There's some flash-related UI bugs that require you to put in a slash reload UI command to fix it, which, by the way, the game never teaches you exists, because the game's UI runs on flash and has some very specific bugs related to it. This game has some finicky colliders, and it's easy to get stuck in locations, and the game never teaches you how to get out of these locations. Locations. So if you're not subscribed, and we'll get to that later, you might think, oh, I just have to now teleport to get out of here. But in fact, this game does have an escape button, it just never teaches you about it, called Slash Stuck, which if you are an MMO player, you might acknowledge is really, really weird, because the command is usually Slash Unstuck. I didn't even think to try Slash Stuck until someone told me they played an MMO once that had it as Slash Stuck. If you cannot make colliders in a way that stops players from getting stuck every couple hours, you need to make it so that you can teach your players what the unstuck button is in your game, or just do the common sense thing and make it unstuck instead of stuck. Like, what the fuck? This game is short, and it's especially short for an MMO. Most of the content is in achievements and collectibles and bonuses you can get out of those things and general grinding for currency instead of story content like most other MMOs. This game's pay to win and paid players are extremely preferred. Free to play players are extremely inhibited in that they earn less currency of every kind, they cannot make guilds unless they're subscribed, they earn less XP, they get less items, and you never really have enough money until you get to the end game where you unlock ways to grind, and then you have to grind, unless you intentionally inhibit your own character advancement, which then makes you weaker than a paid player would be at any point in the game. The game is quite literally pay to win, as you can purchase points, skill points, to advance your character and gain skills, and generally become able to fight the end game boss at level 1 with no issue because you will have the stats if you just go in and spend enough money to unlock everything. That is pay to win. If you can beat the game easily just by spending money, that is pay to win. And I will fight anybody that tries to tell me otherwise. Because someone did try to tell me otherwise in my chat because she said it didn't apply to PvP. But I don't think some people realize that beating a game is called winning. And lastly, and slightly most egregiously for any MMO, is that this game is dead. It's dead. The player base is almost non-existent. Most of the player base there is, is apathetic and will not interact with you, with the exception of one streamer I met who brought his own lively, friendly community to mine, and has generally been a great person to hang out with. Aside from him and his friends, finding others to play with outside of your own group will be nearly impossible because most people that play the game are already at endgame and are just grinding instances, so you will never see them. And to top that, the instances when you're questing are these pretty large maps. They can only hold 13 players in them at once. 13. 
That is insanely low. Insanely. But yeah, that's my first impressions. This is probably the most ranting I've done about a game in a first impressions. And the longest and the most amount of words I've had to say ever. I'm actually pretty surprised after reading all these cons that I'm actually still playing the game, but I can see it in the people that I've been playing with that they are really, really getting tired of it. So would I like recommend that you or your friends come and try to check out this game? No, 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 no. I really, really wouldn't. There are too many MMOs out there to bother playing one with this many problems unless you simply want to try something in a modern world or just, you know, generally not a fantasy hero save the world vibe. But I will warn you, there is a decent enough chance that the game will not work for you at all. If you do, try it. Thank you very much for watching. If you ever want to join me or my friends in any MMOs we play, again, we take everybody. We usually make guilds and invite all you guys to come join us. Not in this game, because none of us are subscribing to be able to make a guild, but in other ones. Check out the community server in the description below. You can join it on PC, browser, phone. In the server you can hang out, find people to play with, join us in any games. MMOs we have earmarked for the future include things like Star Wars The Old Republic, Final Fantasy XIV, and just generally other things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.